Now then, so uh, it's Monday afternoon and I thought I'd set up everything that I've done for my Operation Battle Axe game. Um, just see what it looks like. This mat came in today, it's from Deep Cut Studios. It's just a cloth mat. As you can see it's marked on the corners with little crosses. Um, just for the grid for uh, Rommel. But it's perfect for uh, to the strongest as well. Another one of my favourite games. Uh, so the battlefield itself, this is the historical uh, scenario all set up um, that I downloaded from uh, is it Hexes and Miniatures um, website. Um, I'll try and put a link below and there's loads of scenarios on there for Rommel. Um, yeah. So Operation Battle Axe, what we've got over here, we've got the Mediterranean Sea, just that bit there. And then we've got this mountain range that went up the coast. Um, anyone familiar with battle acts and, and operations in, in the desert will know um, quite impassable. And then we've got the Hellfire Pass, um, named Hellfire Pass by the troops uh, there. And it's been held by some Germans and Italians. Um, moving up, we've got the, the town of Solom, um, just in there. And some Italians in there in prepared positions. Um, just sat behind, we've got a, a battery of Italian artillery. Uh, there's point 206, um, another objective. Along here we've got the, uh, the British forces, uh, <coughs> British and Indian forces. So this is the Indian Brigade here, um, supported by Matilda tanks from the uh, 4th Armoured Brigade. Um, infantry tanks all kind of split up amongst the in infantry battalions to support them. And there's the Indian artillery there as well. Uh, got the Guards Brigade here. Um, with two units from the Bat Guards Brigade up in Fort Capuzzo. Um, they took it in the previous day. Uh, and the, the game starts pretty much with the Germans about to launch their counter-attack. As you can see there are all the panzers and stuff. I'll show you those in a minute. Um, moving along a little bit, we've got uh, City Solomon. And um, a little hamlet. Um, and more British forces. We've got 7th Armoured Division over here. Um, so we've got the 1st King's Royal Rifle Corps, um, Horse Artillery, 25 pounders, 2nd um, Rifle Brigade, uh, and then we've got the 2nd Royal Tank Regiment, the 6th Royal Tank Regiment, and the 11th Hussars there. Um, now most of these models are GHQ, um, as you can see there. Um, but these ones, these uh, Crusaders there, are... Work some rough, so I think they're fine. It took me about 10 minutes to paint those, they're great. Um, I do like uh, six mil, especially desert stuff, it's so easy to do. Um, so, yeah, there's Sidi Omar, the little hamlet, and here we've got the Hafid Ridge, which is such a, a problem for the British during the battle. Um, so, what we've got is massed anti tank guns along there and in prepared positions. So, it's the 33rd Panzer Jaeger uh, Battalion. Uh, occupying that along with some Italian infantry supporting them. Um, and then moving round, and the Germans, these guys don't turn up until turn five, I just put them on. This is the 5th Light Division, and then over here we've got the 15th Panzer Division uh, with all their units lots of Panzers, artillery support, motorised Panzer Grenadiers. Um, it's a recce battalion or a company from the recce battalion there as well. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd set it up, see what it looks like. Um, it's kind of a bit of a test for when I take it down down to the club, really, just to see, you know, if it. Yeah, just to see if it'd work, really. Um, I think it will. It's pretty cool, I reckon. Looks a business, I think. What do you think? Let me know.